Do you want to talk maybe about some things that are in the pipeline or in roadmap that uh, that you can share? Yeah, sure. So the automotive SOC is every generation which is getting more and more powerful. Like for example, you know, it used to be like 50, 100 tops SOCs in the past, but now look at you know I have uh, seen uh, some customers using 2,000 tops of computational power in their in their vehicles. So the automotive SOCs are getting more powerful. That means they need more uh, more current. So so we do have products in product production already, but at the same time, I'm engaging with the customers to develop uh, some new products. Like for example, if you look at uh, the the digital controllers, um, like what some of the let's say some of the top power uh, demands requirements that you're seeing in SOCs that we're currently that we're currently delivering. Yeah, currently, I mean, um, yeah, we have seen, uh, we have seen like, you know, uh, it used to be like, you know, uh, sub 100 amps, but now, you know, we are seeing something like, you know, more than 200, 300 amps. Mm -hmm. So for that current, voltage? That's uh, at uh, sub 1 volts, like, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 yeah. volts. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so it's like, look at the change in the last three, four years. Yeah, what, I mean, what was the change? Now we're at 100, 200 amp, but 0.7, what was it a couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, it probably you know, at 50 amps, that, uh, that range. Okay. Uh, it, it, it one application, like you know, I can give you a little bit more color to this. In one application, it used to be like you know, 60 amps and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now that application is is going to 150 amps, like 3x, mm -hmm. 3x. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is, it is kind of you know, taking off the uh, SOC. And how, how how many generations or how many years was it from that application from 50 to 1? Yeah, that, 60 to 150? That just uh, within two years, two like years, just yeah. one gen to next gen. Yeah. yeah. What is your uh, what's your intuition on where where they're going? The doubling every couple of years, or um, yeah, that I'm not sure. That's a good question. Uh, but in automotive space, unlike the the client space, um, you know, I don't. I'm not sure about the trend if it will double every mm -hmm. year or yeah. not. But one thing is for sure, it is like like I mentioned that 50 amps going to uh, 150 amps. Mm -hmm. That kind of trend we are we are seeing for sure, and yeah. it will continue to grow that way. Yeah. So for that to serve, you know, to go hand in hand with uh, with the customer needs, you know, I'm developing new products for uh, the controllers and the new products for uh, new products for driver mass to cover all their uh, today's needs and then future needs as well. Are there uh, are there any other any other topics or uh, concepts that uh, that you'd like to share? So, for example, like you know, there is another trend that is happening. Like today, you know, I, I was uh, reading an article. So today, the the twelve volt battery in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, just to say, I'm just rough numbers. Uh, uh, so the twelve volt battery can can supply, let us say, three kilowatts today. But that 12 volt battery is running out of juice because this auto, the SOC is coming up for ADAS or infotainment. The power needs are growing in mm -hmm. the auto uh, in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So the 12 volt battery is maxing out. So one trend that we are going to see in the future is the customers will, uh, or the car makers or OEMs will use a 48 volt battery. Mm -hmm. So that opens up another avenue for us to go develop new products to solve that problem. So, so today the the uh, automotive industries and the supplier base, all the components and everything is well established for a 12 volt battery. But 48 volts, it will come. In my opinion, it will come. Mm -hmm. So now that gives MPS as an opportunity to kind of jump in on on that trend and then uh, start developing new products. And so. From my product line side also, we are looking into some of those opportunities. I'm okay. talking to some customers already, and uh, we'll let's see how they, okay. where it takes us. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. It was great to get into uh, details about how MPS is addressing automotive SOC power needs, and thanks. Yeah, thank you very much, Dave. Thanks for uh, nice talking to you. Yeah.